let me explain to you about the moon. Every night as you get up, okay, and if you walk out of your house and assuming that it is a clear night, you see a large number of stars which are twinkling in the sky. Right? And then there is this one more thing which is bigger than all these stars or at least from an appearance perspective it appears to be bigger than the stars which is the moon now I've basically created a round moon although I'm sure this is not a complete circle as a mathematician would want it but this moon appears in different timings in the evening right it could be something like this sorry guys it could be something like this it could be something like this so there are different shapes and forms in which the moon appears right the shapes are different the time at which it comes up is also different right the positions, if you notice, is also different. So if you are just sitting on a bench, okay, you would notice that the moon is not always at one place in the sky. It keeps on changing its position. On different days, the position is different. So let us first understand what exactly is this moon all about, right? Oh, actually I should leave one of them right so what exactly is moon all about now we have earth okay moon is basically a satellite of earth now you must be wondering what is the satellite we've heard of some satellites which are made by man and which are there. No, I'm not talking about those satellites. Those are man-made satellites. The moon is a satellite of Earth, which means that it is a body which revolves around the Earth. So this moon that we are talking about is basically a satellite of the Earth, not some other planet. There are some other planets also which have their own moons. We're not talking about them. We're talking about the moon which revolves around the earth. Just like in the previous video I told you about the solar system that the planets revolve around the sun. Similarly, the moon is a companion of the earth. It revolves around the earth. And this one revolution, okay, one revolving around the earth is completed in 27 days by our moon. And this time is fixed. It's not that, you know, once it will take 27 days, the other time it takes 30 days. No, it takes 27 days to revolve around the Earth. Now, normally if you go out in the night, you will notice that the size of moon is pretty large vis-a-vis -vis these stars. Does that mean that the moon is bigger in size than these stars? The answer is no. Actually, the distance between the moon and the Earth is 384,400 kilometers right which is much less than the distance that you have vis-a-vis -vis earth and some of these stars that's why these stars are way far off and therefore at times they appear much smaller than the moon but they need not necessarily be smaller than the moon this distance is not very big as compared to this although effectively if you see this distance by itself is very huge so what is the comparison of size of the moon and the earth effectively if you see the diameter of the moon is one fourth of earth's diameter so it's smaller than the earth the thing is that there is no air or water on the moon and therefore there is no life on moon so tomorrow if someone wants to go and live on the moon he cannot do it why because there is no air and water and without air and water human life cannot survive there is only some planes which are there on the moon 
there are surfaces, there are mountains and everything. But there is no air and water on moon. And therefore, having a life on moon is not possible. So basically, what are some other good things which we need to know about the moon? You know, have you ever wondered why during the daytime we are unable to see the moon? Is it that it's gone off to sleep? The answer is no. What happens is that the moon does not have any lights of its own. Right? So what happens is the light or why it shines is because there's a sun. Okay? The sun rays fall on the moon and it lights it up. Right? Sun has a lights of its own. During the daytime, what happens is that the light of the sun which is there is very high, right? And therefore, the brightness of these objects is not visible. And therefore, the moon is not visible during the daytime. Now, there is another concept in terms of, you know, when we were talking about the shapes of moon, which is, there is something which is called a full moon and a new moon. In case of full moon, what happens is that you're able to see the old, the entire moon. So it's something like this. Right? This happens once a month. You have a full moon day. And there is a day which is after a fortnight of full moon when the moon is not visible at all. This day is called the new moon. Or in India, you called it as Amavasya. If you ask your parents, they are going to tell you about what is Amavasya. Right? So I hope this interesting information about the moon would have enlightened you up. Right? So exactly, you know, as you went into this particular lecture, you may not be having any lights of your own. But there is something which is now shining in your head. You know, you are a bit more experienced, knowledgeable about the moon. Thank you for being with us today.